Hello everyone, welcome to Semiconductor and Happy New Year. Today, I'm going to talk about EMI Shield. Have you heard about EMI Shield? I hope you did. What is EMI Shield? EMI stands for Electromagnetic Interference. EMI Shield is to prevent EMI. In this picture, we have noise source IC and victim IC. Noise source IC generate electromagnetic wave, and victim IC can be damaged by electromagnetic wave. In this case, we can coat shielding material over victim IC to prevent EMI. Conformer shield is to coat shield material over package for EMI shield. Conformer means to follow shape, so package shape before and after conformer shield coating is same. The only difference is coating thickness. EMI shield is done by coating of conductive material, and conductive material need to include victim IC. So, five side except bottom is covered by conductive material, and bottom side is covered by ground copper plane of package substrate. There are two methods for conformer shield coating. One is sputtering, the other one is spraying. And for most cases, sputtering is used. For sputtering, coating is consists of three layers. From bottom, adhesion layer, shield layer, and cap layer. Sauce copper sauce is the most popular combination. Adhesion layer at the bottom is for good adhesion between package mold compound and copper shield layer. Shield layer at the middle is for EMI shield, and it uses copper. Cap layer at the top is to protect copper from corrosion with oxygen. For spraying, there is only one layer. Sprayable silver paste is used and silver paste is consists of silver plaque and resin. Which devices use conformal shield and where we can find them? Here are some examples in Apple iPhone. Devices with blue arrows have conformal shield and color of conformal shield is silver gray. Those devices are front-end module, Wi-Fi module, and power amplifier module. Here are some more examples in the same Apple iPhone. Those are front-end modules and ultra-wideband module. How about compartment shield? It is to make compartment for EMI shield, because even within the same package, one device can damage the other. Compartment shield is located inside of package, and lead arrows indicate compartment shield. Typically, compartment shield is used with conformal shield, blue arrows. There are four methods to make compartment shield. Trench and fill, wire cage, wire fence, and vertical wire. Trench and fill is the most popular method, and Apple Watch is a good example. You can see shallow trench with lead arrows, and those are compartment shield by trench and fill. This is cross-section of compartment shield by trench and fill. Its process flow is trench making by laser ablation of mold compound, silver paste fill into the trench, conformal shield coating by sputtering for package. Again, Compartment shield is located inside of the package. Second method is wire cage. For this method, wires go over and cover die using wire bonding process, and it looks like a bird cage. Third method is wire fence. Through wire bonding process, we can make fence for compartment shield. The last one is vertical wire. It also uses bonding process but it cuts wire after pulling up. So, process flow is vertical wire making, molding, vertical wire exposure, conformal shield. In summary, there are two methods for conformal shield, sputtering and spraying. Most cases use sputtering. There are four methods for compartment shield, trench and fill, wire cage, wire fence, and vertical wire. Most cases use trench and fill. Today, we talked about EMI shield. I hope this can help you to understand basic EMI shield technology. Happy New Year and see you again soon.
，拜拜。